All right, what's up everybody? This is your favorite homeboy coming at you from the beautiful Poconos. You see the view behind us. And I got my friend and brother, Jay Chul Yang. Hello, good morning, good morning. So, this is such a wonderful place. Thank you, Ed, for inviting me. Love this place, man. New York, it is so hot. Humid. Oh yeah. It went up to like 95 with humidity. It was like around 102. Man. Coming down, oh man, just waking up this morning. We're so fresh, crisp air, love it. Love it. We've been walking every morning, every evening, just to take advantage of the fact that it just cools down so much in the mountains. So I wanted to invite my friend uh, Jay on the video on the channel because uh, Jay runs a, a company called American Debate League and uh, out of New York. But since COVID happened, he did something really awesome. He went virtual. And when he went virtual, his business just exploded and he was able to uh, not just focus on the New York City area, but really uh, expand his business literally worldwide because now anybody can sign up uh, to become a better communicator. Uh, so I'm gonna post his comments. Uh, I'm gonna post his website below so you can get more information on that. And your daughter also started a YouTube channel called Yebby's World. <laughs> That's right. Tell yeah. us a little bit about Yebby's World. Yeah, so uh, Yebin is four years old. Yebin, my bad. Ye Yebin is four years old. Her English name is Caitlin. And, uh, you know, one day I was just uh, kind of bored and I wanted to find something to do. And I said, you know what, why don't I uh, create a YouTube channel for the kids? And since Yebin was very interested in being in front of the camera all the time, I said, you know what, let's just give it a try. So we, so far, we only have four videos. You know, coming up with the content is always the hardest, but she really enjoys it. And, you know, we've done ABC songs. We've seen some sister versus uh, brother challenges. So it's been fun. It's a, it's a, it's a long journey, but I think it's fun. Uh, I think you guys will probably enjoy watching it. If you have little kids, they will definitely enjoy yeah, watching it. Yeah, you could click that link up there to go to Yevin's channel. And um, so the reason why you want to watch this video is because we're going to do a couple things. One, you're going to hear uh, Jay's story of uh, his American Debate League. I'm going to ask him just to give a quick synopsis of just kind of how he got started and the challenges he went through and how he overcame that. Just kind of a two minute synopsis, gonna put you on the spot a little bit. Um, wow. And then it's kind of cool to hear <clears throat> another YouTuber, he's starting Yebin's World, I'm starting this channel, and the struggle's real. And so if you're out there and you're starting YouTube, uh, just know that it's not easy, uh, but just keep doing it if you love what you're doing and um, you'll have fun. And lastly, uh, what you're gonna get out of this video is, you know, Jay is just like anyone else. You know, he comes here to the Poconos, has fun, and uh, he's had questions about investing in the Poconos too. So any questions that Jay has, we're gonna get answered uh, on, this, uh, on this video. All right, so before we get started, Jay, can you just give a quick kind of a one to two minute, just quick cliff notes on how you got started, the challenges you ran into, and just kind of what you were telling me this morning. I loved hearing that story. And I think uh, people watching this channel, watching this uh, video here, will also get something out of it as well. Sure, so, you know, I'm a high school teacher. I teach chemistry. And there was a time when I was given an opportunity uh, as a school administrator to bring a group of kids down for Model UN. And you know, it was my first time seeing high school students being able to debate, being able to communicate. And I thought it was just wonderful. I've never seen anything like it. And I said, you know what? These are the kids who are going to grow up to become great leaders. Mm. And I've decided, you know what? I want to start something up here in Mount Vernon, New York for our students. Um, so that they will have an opportunity to do something like this as well. And, um, you know, there, there weren't really that many programs were available for students to become better communicators. So, you know, we started a company and we've invited a lot of guest speakers to come and talk to the students about the importance of public speaking and giving them opportunity to learn how to public speak. Mm. And it was, it was great. The kids were learning. Uh, we wanted to, you know, uh, just kind of get it up to the next level and we wanted kids to be able to compete but there weren't really that many public speaking competitions but what I found out was there are some debate competitions mm. where students talk about the real issues that are going on in our society and I absolutely loved it um, so we had you know a couple of instructors who came in you know I have no background in debate but you know the instructors had plenty of experience and they were able to just provide the instruction and and the training for the students to become better speakers and communicators so 
you know, we've been working with, you know, individual students for a while, but we wanted to bring this program to the schools mm. because the schools were always looking for, you know, good educational programs, extracurricular activities for their students. And, you know, we went into the first school, they loved it, they introduced to another school, another school, and now we work with over 70 schools throughout New York City. Wow. And. You know, since March, we couldn't go back to the school and we were going to run a camp out of a college campus in Queens. But, you know, with COVID-19, you know, no one was allowed to come together in close contact. So we decided to give it a try with the uh, virtual education. Yeah. So we just, you know, put it out there and says, hey, you know, if you're interested, you know, learning how to debate, learning how to public speak for, you know, students in grades four all the way to the 12th. You're more than welcome to come, you know, the fee is nominal. So we're like, okay, let's just put it out there and see what happens. And it was just amazing, you know, the parents, you know, went to our website and they didn't even call us. They looked at our website. <laughs> and you know, started registering. This, yeah, seeing all these politicians oh, that are, you know, sponsoring our programs. And I guess our website really gave a credible, you know, impression to the parents. Mm -hmm. And they said, this is a great program. So we started seeing you know, registration coming one after another. And that's awesome. Today we have over, you know, 700 students wow. who are registered. Wow. And it's not just from New York City, but we have students from all over the country. And the furthest uh, uh, the registrant or the student that registered with us is from London. That's awesome. So that was wow. quite amazing. And what's, what's really cool though is just a few years ago when you first started, your business was failing to the point where you only had three students. That's right. And you got to the point where it's like, do I really want to do this? And you really felt God was like, Jay, I'm building this with or without you, right? Isn't that what right. you told me? That's absolutely true. And uh, now you've got 700 some registered. I think that's just amazing. Yeah. What I love about your story too is, you know, you're not the expert in debate. Right. You haven't won a debate trophy in your <laughs> life. None, but, zero. But you got the experts around you. And that's what's cool about being a businessman is you don't have to be the expert. You get the smartest people around you, right? That's right. Uh, you had the idea. Right. And I really love right. that. Yeah. And you never gave up on that idea. And, right. and, and even when COVID hit, you know, you, you, you pivoted and you changed your business model a little bit and it exploded. Absolutely. So that's really cool. You know, in, in any business, I don't think anyone can be successful on their own, even if they're expert in that field. Yeah. You always need good people you to need work a team. with you. And I have to tell you, I'm very lucky to have a guy named Richard Connolly. He's the mm. executive director of our program. And he has just put in so much time and effort and energy into this company. And he has worked yeah. with so many different people. He just... He's the one who made the thoughts and the vision uh, come to reality. Yeah. And there was yeah. a time when I walked into a, a competition that we were hosting. You know, I didn't realize how large the group was going to be. <laughs> and I walked in, there was an auditorium packed with parents, students being so excited. Wow. Because this was the award ceremony. Yeah. And just seeing the trophies, you know, getting, you know, kids getting excited about getting the trophy. So, you know, no matter what business it is, I think it's important that you always surround yourself with experts, people who are loyal to your company, people who know what they're doing. And, you know, it's going to be a success. Awesome. Hey, thanks for sharing that story, Jay. Sure. We're going to transition a little bit into vacation rentals. Okay. So, uh, what are some questions you have about, you know, I know this is something you want to do. You've seen, you've been in both of my homes and you kind of see my progression. Uh, so someone who wants to get into vacation rentals, uh, who has questions about Pocono specifically, what kind of questions did you have that you think uh, people probably have also watching this video? Yeah. So the first question I wanted to ask you was you're all the way out from Virginia, four mm -hmm. hours away. Yeah. Why Poconos? Why the Poconos? And that's a great question. You know, I've looked at a lot of different places, Smoky Mountains, Florida, like Disney, um, California. And I was like, there's gotta be some really cool places that could probably have more revenue. But for some reason, every time I call agents and call property managers in those areas and ask them about their projections, projections, they're never as good as this area. And as I started looking at the geographic proximity to major areas, I realized it's the major uh, metropol metropolitan area of New York, Philly, and that kind of that New York, Philly, um, where's the other place, Pittsburgh and all the population in there, there's no other place that's close to that many people. I think it's like 30 million people. Mm -hmm. um, so 
Um, I have a good resource, I'll post it down in the comments, where you can research all the major MSAs, is what they call it, uh, Metropolitan Statist Statistical Areas, like Dallas, Austin, um, and Houston. Those are all MSAs. And you can look at the population numbers and find out what major um, vacation type of place is near those areas. And nowhere close compares to the Poconos as far as proximity to people within a two to three hour drive. Absolutely. And you know, yeah. you know, I've lived in New York for many years now, and there are many people who live in apartments, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they want to get away. Yeah. But you know, they don't want to go away too far because it's too costly. Yeah. But here, Poconos is only two hours right. away. And the driving is a key because people can fly all over the place. Right. But now, especially in a time like this, people want to drive. Right. And they want to yeah. drive and they want to be with the nature. But you know, when you're in the city, you're always surrounded by buildings and you just yeah. get tired of seeing the buildings. Yeah. So you want to come out here, look at, look at all these it's trees. So it's awesome. Right? Trees, yeah. lake, mountains. Right. And I think that's definitely a key uh, aspect of, you, got you it. know, being able to buy a property here and rent it out. Right? Yeah. Because this is a place where people want to come to. Yeah. The second question that I have is like, how do you decide uh, what what kind of house to buy in Poconos? Mm. Because, you know, I might be interested in buying a property like this and yeah. rent it out as well yeah. as a sort of like a residual income investment property. Mm -hmm. you know, I've never done anything like that before, yeah. but I would love to learn it. But like, how did you come up with what size of the house? Right. How That's much a great was question. Budget? So basically the rule of 16 so that you can fit multiple families and friends who want to have multiple families in the same house. And also for some reason, if uh, a smaller group wants to stay in there, well, 16 can accommodate versus a three bedroom house that can maybe fit 10, you're kind of limited to just the smaller parties and you miss out on the larger parties. And although that sounds attractive to have a smaller house, 10 people, uh, maybe in the two to $300,000 price range, you may miss out on the larger bookings. So I, I haven't tested that yet, but I do see uh, the availability, the calendars on smaller homes and it doesn't look as full. And so that's something you could kind of do an informal research on. Uh, but I've tried to stuck with homes that can accommodate at least 16 people. Okay. And the so price range for that is probably going to be in the 400s and up. Okay. So what do you recommend for a guy like me who's trying to invest for the very first time, mm -hmm. right? Like, what should I look at? Okay, so I'm looking at a house that may be able to accommodate 16 people. But how do I know that I am going to be financially okay and how much down payment and how much would I be able to make per month? Right. right? Those are financial questions that I have to think about. Right, right. That's a great question. And it's tricky because even my first house, I didn't have all the answers. Um, I kind of relied on the property manager, what they were telling me. But you know, sometimes people paint a more rosy picture than it really is. And so I bought the first house. I wanted to make sure I at least hit the 16 so that that wouldn't be an excuse for failure. Okay. And I bought something that was in actually the high 300s. So conservative, needed more sweat equity. Um, and so I had less skin in the game because I bought it in the high 300s versus four to 500s. Um, so I was conservative and I just used that as my test case. And what you could expect based off my numbers is uh, after you take out your expenses for the year on a house that fits at least 16 people in the Lake Harmony uh, Poconos area, you could probably expect with a 25% down payment, after you take all the expenses, management, upkeep, utilities, cleaning, out of all the revenue you get, you can expect probably about a 15 to 25% cash on cash return every year. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Ed, you built your house from scratch in, in Virginia, uh -huh. right? And you bought one house here in Poconos and this is your second one. What's your long-term plan? My long-term plan, I'd love to pick up four more of these and have a total of six and have it run on autopilot. So right now we do have someone who's amazing, Kelsey, who's helping us with the guest interaction. We'd like to just uh, totally get Autumn out of the picture, my wife, on the back end of things, just so we can be more sustainable and, and carry four more properties. So I'd like to identify four more, one each year, uh, and have a total of six. Wow, mm -hmm. and is that gonna be it? We'll see. <laughs> uh, then I got to help you get one too, right? <laughs> That's right. 
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief interview. Jay was interviewing me and you heard a little bit about Jay's company. Uh, don't forget to check out American Debate League and Yebin's World, his new channel for his daughter. Um, hey, listen, we talked about a lot, a YouTube channel, a business, uh, vacation rentals. Uh, but one thing I want you to take away from this is you gotta get started, right? It may seem overwhelming to start a business or to buy a vacation rental. Uh, you know, I never thought I'd be able to buy even one and now I have two. Uh, but the message for you uh, to take away with is get started. And um, you know, don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to just take that first step. Uh, you never know, uh, you, you'll, you'll be down to your three clients, your last three clients and you'll wanna give up, but don't give up uh, just like Jay. And uh, you never know what God can do uh, through your life. So I want you to take that away and uh, enjoy your summer. If you want to hear more content like this, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below. And uh, this is your favorite homeboy signing out. Thank you, Ed. <laughs>